Hi, hello and welcome to another session on digital signal processing. In today's session, we will see how to perform the circular convolution by using this concentric circle method. So here y of n is equal to circular convolution of x of n and h of n. Now if x of n has these samples x1, x2, x3 and x4 and if h of n has h1, h2 and h3. So from these two we can understand that the length of x of n is 4 and the length of h of n is 3. Now one condition is that in circular convolution length of both of these two sequences should be the same and if the length is not the same then we can do zero padding. Zero padding means adding extra zeros. Now number of zeros to be padded in the first sequence x of n is equal to m minus 1. So this m is the length of h of n and number of zeros to be padded in h of n is equal to l minus 1 where l is the length of x of n. So here we get two zeros and uh, three zeros in h of n. Now in the output sequence the length of y of n is equal to so this is the formula to calculate the length of the output y of n l plus m minus 1 so here x of n has 4 samples and h of n has 3 samples so 4 plus 3 minus 1 is 6 so in the output we have 6 samples so next step you can draw the 6 concentric circles now what is the length of this x of n x of n is originally 4 but after padding these two zeros, this is the x of these are the samples in x of n x1, x2, x3, x4, 0, and 0. And h of n, so these are the samples in h of n h1, h2, h3, padded with three zeros. So since the length of this y of n is 6, you can draw 6 concentric circles like this. So after drawing these concentric circles, you can position the x of n values on the outer circle or the inner circle. Anyway, it can be done. Either h of n can be on the outer circle or x of n on the inner circle or h of n on the uh, inner circle and x of n on the outer circle. So you have to start positioning these elements in this manner. You have to start from this position. So start from here. This is x1 and this should go in the anti-clockwise direction. So write x1 here. This is x2, x3, x4 and we have two zeros. So put 0 here and 0 here. So for all outer circles, these are the values of x of n. So write x of n, x1, x2, x3, x4 x5 sorry this is 0 and 0 so for all the circles you have to follow the same x1 x2 x3 x4 0 and 0 x1 x2 x3 x4 0 and 0 x1 x2 x3 x4 0 0 here also the same now coming to this inner circle h of n values are to be positioned on the inner circle here we have to start from here right h1 and go in the clockwise direction arrange all the elements in the clockwise direction so this is h1 next h2 this is h3 we have three more zeros so put zero 0 and 0. So in the next step h of n is to be moved by one position towards anti-clockwise direction. So h1 will start from here. This is h1, h2, h3, 0, 0 and 0. In the next step h1 will start from here. h1, h2, h3, 0, 0, 0. In the next step h1 will start here. h1, sorry, h1 h2 h3 0 0 0 in the next step h1 will start here h1 h2 h3 0 0 and 0 in the next step 
this is position of h1 h2 h3 0 0 and 0 so to find the output y of n so therefore y of n is equal to from the first circle just multiply the corresponding values so we have x1 into h1 so this will be your y of 0 so right y of 0 is equal to x1 into h1 plus x2 into 0 plus x3 into 0 plus x4 into 0 plus 0 into h3 plus 0 into h2 so this is your y of 0 next y of 1 is equal to here also simply multiply the corresponding elements so we have x1 into h2 plus x2 h1 plus x3 into 0 x4 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into h3 so y of 2 is equal to x1 into h3 plus x2 h2 plus x3 h1 plus x4 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 next y of 3 y of 3 is equal to x1 into 0 plus x2 into h3 plus x3 into h2 plus x4 h1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 next one is y of 4 y of 4 is equal to x1 into 0 plus x2 into 0 plus x3 into h3 plus x4 h2 plus 0 into h1 plus 0 into 0 the last one that is y of 5 this is equal to x1 into 0 plus x2 into 0 plus x3 into 0 plus x4 h3 plus 0 into h2 plus 0 into h1 add all of these values and you can write the output therefore y of n is equal to write all of these elements here so this is y of 0 comma y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 y of 4 and y of 5 so this is how we perform the circular convolution thank you for watching